how can you use AI to learn Python better? For that matter, people keep asking me how I'm using AI to teach Python better. And one of the techniques that I really like that I've started using in the last few months is something known as interviewing. This has nothing, nothing to do with job interviews. The idea is, and I'm gonna show it to you in a moment, that you write a program as part of an assignment in class, and then you ask AI to ask you about it, to interview you about it, to sort of give you lots of questions to really cement that knowledge. So let's say I'm in my intro Python class, and one of the first things that I have people do is write a short program that asks, you know, ask the user their name. And then uh, basically, if the name matches yours, say something nice. And if the name doesn't match yours, then say something snarky. Okay, so here is how that program typically looks. I'm gonna say here, name equals input, enter your name. It's typically an early on thing, one of the first things I do in my uh, class. So I don't even teach them about stripping strings and so forth. They don't know about methods yet. They barely know about strings. They know they exist and how to use input and print, but not much more. And then we can say if name equals equals Reuven, then we'll say print, you know, hi boss. Print, nice to see you here. Else it'll say print, you know, hello, name, who are you? Okay, and if I run this program, it works just fine. I say Reuven, it prints the appropriately uh, respectful greeting. If I say here, someone else, it says, hello, someone else, who are you? Okay, so let's say that I've assigned this in class, and let's say that someone has finished, and they have time before I go over together. And quite frankly, going over the exercises is, in my opinion, one of the most important things in any, teach I, any teaching I do, because it's really important to see how someone would solve, someone else would solve these things. And as important as the answer is, the process is even more important. So where does interviewing come in? I'm gonna take this program, and I'm gonna open up Claude here. You can use whatever LM you want. And I'm gonna say, I am a newcomer to Python. I've only been learning it for a few hours, and I know the basics of print, input, if else, and the like. I haven't learned other data structures. Now, this kind of prompt is kind of important, as you're gonna see. So I just wrote this program. I'm gonna paste it in here. Please ask me questions about this program using, you know, that, that will only expect knowledge that I've already had, you know, learned from the course. Keep asking, and every time I answer, evaluate and uh, sort of respond to that answer. Keep asking, you know, stop asking when I tell you to do so. I'm just gonna increase the size of the text here so you can see a little more easily. All right, and I'm gonna run this. Now, what I've basically told it is, go ask me questions. Here, I'm happy to help you. What happens if a user enters Reuven with a lowercase r instead of Reuven with a capital R, right? And it'll, I should say, it will not match the name because uh, 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 Python is case sensitive. And it'll say, that's exactly right. Now, do people necessarily know this? No, they don't necessarily know this, so they'll have to think about it. This is great. Okay, in your program, what is the F before the string in print do? Uh, the F indicates that I am, uh, um, you know, I am frustrated, F for frustrated, learning to program in Python, all right? And I see you're having some fun with your answer. That's not what it means. Okay, okay. But then it goes and it repeats things and it goes through. So if you want to check if the name was either Reuven or admin, how would you modify your if statement? Now, it could be that this is a question that's coming before I've taught people about things like or and and, right? So maybe the student will not know. And they can even say, I haven't learned that sort of thing yet. Or they can guess, I would use the pipe character because that's how we use, you know, that's how we check for or in a programming language, right? That's something that people do all the time. And you can see that you can answer correctly, you can answer incorrectly, you are going to get a response. Is the response always accurate? No. If you've been using AI for any amount of time, you know that sometimes it's just plain old wrong. And so this is not a perfect solution, 
But if you go through a bunch of these sorts of questions, either while you're waiting for the instructor to finish, or maybe as homework, right? I've started giving people homework, those who have time. I say, hey, after class, take one of our exercises and do this kind of thing with it and answer a bunch of questions from the AI. And this way, we help people not only write code and not only read code, but understand what they're doing, doing deep in those understandings. And wherever they don't understand things, the AI will be infinitely patient and help them to understand things better. And if the AI gets it wrong, hopefully, hopefully people will have either notice or they will encounter this the next day in class, or the next time I meet with them, and they will ask me. I hope this technique is useful and interesting for you. Let me know what else you want to know. Leave comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with lots more about Python and pandas and everything in between. See you soon.